time to take the Hello? Oh, hey! How's it going? Good! I'm doing alright. Uh, you're new here? I am. So, how's your time been here so far? I just finished season one, but I love Good Omens. It's so sweet and gentle and romantic. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see season two. <laughs> Good Omens is my comfort show, they said. Watch it! It's super cute and lighthearted and fluffy, they said! Quiet, romantic, sweet, and gentle, my ass. <laughs> Remember that every week? God, the chaos that ensues is fantastic! <laughs> Did we just win? No nightingales. I forgive you. Nothing lasts forever, and I would like to spend- Neil, when I catch you! Neil, when I catch you, Neil! Neil! Are we better than everyone? This is no laughing matter. This is a laughing matter. Season three, baby! Woo! Season 3 needs to happen now, where I swear to God! Who set the fandom on fire? He did! Oh. Neil Gaiman! After episode 6, it feels like I was hit by a semi-truck. Wanna see me reenact the last 15 minutes of the second season? Do you wanna see me do it crying? Why do I feel like a child of divorce? I mean, we kind of sort of are? Well, guess I know how Muriel and the Bentley feel. They both get plenty of use out of it, don't they? Muriel is just so cute! Does that mean Maggie and Nina are like the divorce attorneys or the marriage counselors in this scenario? Listen, I wanted them to kiss, but not like this! Kiss. It was only a kiss! You no, know, now that season three is for sure happening, I am at peace with what happened, and I can't wait to see what goes down next. Amazon, come on! Give me. Wait and see. <gasps> Don't forget Ineffable Wives is coming! Already on it. Maggie and Nina are like the ineffable husbands if they cut the bullshit and actually communicated, huh? Let's go lesbians. Love that for them. Yeah, I'm kind of an Aziraphale girly. <laughs> Who do you kid? Yes. Aziraphale, I get it. I really do, but why the f*** did you leave? Hey, you leave our angel alone! Regardless of theories and all of that, just... <laughs> Poor Crowley, man. This must have been what Crowley felt after his angel left him, ugly and unwanted. Neil Gaiman is gonna pay for our therapy. Hey, don't come for me if you want your happy ending. Screw it. I'm rereading Pride and Prejudice. Can't believe the show got me to read the Bible in the meantime. Oh, I did too. Hey, when does the Jesus Judas Yowie start? <laughs> <laughs> no, I refuse to accept what happened. There's gotta be a bigger explanation for all of this. This one goes out to you, Metatron. Metatron definitely did something to Aziraphale. Like, seriously. Aziraphale must have been poisoned or manipulated or brainwashed somehow. We do have the coffee theory. Ugh, again with the coffee theory? No, no, hear them out. If the coffee theory somehow ends up being true, we're all gonna be like, you were right, you were right, I was wrong, you were right. I like the Book of Life theory personally. I mean, it explains why a lot of season two felt so weird. AKA the magic trick you didn't see. Neil, I want answers, Neil, I need information. Do you want my firstborn child? I gave you my firstborn child in exchange for the truth. Wait and see. I just want to know who Crowley was before his fall. I mean, he could have been the Supreme Archangel. There's hints. That's what I'm saying. He was Raphael. Neil said no though. Did I? Everywhere I go, anything that's black and white, I see their faces. The ways in which you talk to me. Sorry, wrong fandom. Just so you guys are aware, I'm putting Queen on like every Good Omens playlist from here on out. Like literally everyone. You've got Old Fashioned Lover Boy on there, right? Duh. I remember reading the book back in the 90s. Great times. And the radio play. Can't forget the radio play. There was a radio play? There's a lot in the show that I don't quite recall being in the book. Build out the Shuhite Nation. Rise up for our professional midwife slash cobbler. It really is a look. Praise be bearded David Tennant. You know, it took a sec and I'll still razz him for it, but it grew on me. Michael Sheen is a terror. Hey, don't forget that out of all of us here, he is the biggest shipper and fan. I really am actually. True, he has written Good Omens fanfic before. Neil's favorite child, I swear to God. <laughs> really? <laughs> An angsty masterpiece is coming together in my head. I'm gonna do my best to keep y'all sane, okay? As are we. <laughs> oh. So that's why there's over 80 pages of Fix It Fix on AO3. And the poor miscommunication tag. And all the slow burn. Listen, do you want more South Downs Cottage Core or not? Oh, trust me, we're not complaining. Feed us more. Feed us more. I have so many little domestic headcanons of them just washing dishes together and going on walks and holding hands on the couch. Yeah. I can definitely see them f***ing bad on a s*** of hay. <laughs> yeah. I have so many sad headcanons I want to let out in the world. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. They're going to have their South Downs happy ending. Damn it. Oh, we're for sure getting South Down. Neil wouldn't do a sturdy like that. Three words. Wait and see. I am in your walls, Neil. Please, please give us another kiss. Another juicy, earnest, genuine kiss in the next season. Please.
Wait and see. Neil Gaiman, what are you doing in my falafel? Good omens. Our flag means death, and what we do in the shadows really is the new super hulag. Wait, yeah, actually, you've got super heaven, super hell, and super limbo. <laughs> <laughs> this has all got me so excited for what's gonna happen next. All right, well, uh, good luck with season three. Love like yours will surely come by.